have you lost weight? I mean, if I have, it's only a few pounds. I think people just remember me fatter for some reason. Oh, Hannah, you were never fat. You were soft and round, like a dumpling. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't want to mislead you. I didn't bring you here to retread old territory emotionally. I am more open to it physically. The reason I brought you here is pretty specific and a little bit touchy, okay? Um, I don't want to assume anything about you and other partners. It's and true. I get the... It's true? Yeah. You know, I'm glad that you heard, because things with Bo were moving so quickly, and I didn't want you to Bo? think that... Well, that's his name. And Bo is? My lover? Who is male? Yes. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh. oh, Hannah. Um, I'm fine, I'm fine. What I'm having right now is an inappropriate physical reaction to my total joy for you and your self-discovery. Yay! Oh. Yay. Thank you. So great. So I'm processing this. Mm -hmm. um, does this mean the whole time that we were together that you were? Oh. Oh, are you asking, did I always want to have sex with men? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Are you asking, did I want to have sex with men when we were together? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so then, um, how were you able to have sex with me? Oh, well, there's a handsomeness to you that I think, okay, oh my God. maybe that okay. wasn't the right way to put um, that. I'm well, I am very, very happy for you. Thank you, Hannah. I appreciate that. But I do wish that you could have figured this out maybe a little bit sooner, like uh, maybe the last four years that we were at this liberal arts college together, because there okay. were a lot okay. of gay okay. men I there. I feel like there's a lot of aggression coming off of you. And and I also, I don't let you know that the reason that I brought you here is not to discuss our past relationship, but to discuss the fact that I have an STD, and I'm pretty fucking sure you gave it to me. Why would you think that? Because I've been having protected sex with my current boyfriend. Also, he doesn't have HPV, so... Your boyfriend was tested for HPV? Yes, he was. Hmm, well, that's absurd. And why is that absurd? Because there is no test for men. No, he there is no he... way that a man can be tested for HPV, and your boyfriend would know that had he taken an intro level to human sexuality workshop. So you're saying you don't have it, or what? No, I'm saying there's no way for me to know. Great. Oh, quite frankly, Hannah, I resent the accusation. You know, you, you were <laughs> always like this. OK, <laughs> this is not the time for you to be throwing stones, because you know what? I'm the one who was lied to by you for two years. Oh, well, I think it was Maya Angelou who said that we're only as blind as we want to be. <laughs> Are you saying that I was supposed to know that you were gay? Because let me tell you something. This fruity little voice. Fruity little voice? Is a new <clears throat> thing. Fruity little voice? If you had been this gay in college, I would have known. Because I have two eyes and two Okay, okay, let's just take stupid. a couple of steps back and look at your other boyfriends. Well, and if okay. not for nothing, maybe take a look at your dad. You did not just bring oh, my father? I think father I just did. Into, in what way does my father read gay to you? Uh, well, for one, he has a stud in his ear. Yeah, that he got on a trip that he took with a bunch of his male friends. I heard what that sounded like. Are we like. hearing ourselves? Are I we heard hearing what ourselves? That sounded I don't like. think that we you know are. what I'm going to do from now on? What are you going to do from now on? I'm going to ask people if they're gay before I have sex with them. Oh, and good luck with that, Hannah. Good, good, good luck with that. You know what? I'm going to have the last word of the oh, situation. So nice seeing you, you, Hannah. Your dad's gay.